Howdy friends! Today we are going to make a project in honor of our good art buddy, Mr. Hitchcock, the Rainbow Raven. Y'all might know him because when you're the secret student, you get to dress him up. Well today, everybody gets to be the secret student because we're going to draw our very own picture of Mr. Hitchcock with whatever clothes we want him to wear. Start with a horizontal side to side piece of paper and get yourself a pencil ready to go to draw a big, huge smile in the middle of your paper like this. Big, huge smile with space on both sides. We need space on one end for his tail and the other end for his beak. Now let's draw Hitchcock's back. So we're going to draw a horizontal side to side line that grows out from one side of the smile, but stops with a big gap. Connecting this gap, we're going to draw a big rainbow. That's going to be Hitchcock's head. Now we've got the Raven's whole body done. We just need a few extra details. Let's start with the legs. Down on Hitchcock's belly at the bottom, draw two little rainbows. This will be the top of his legs where they're feathery and fluffy. And then under that, draw two zigzagged lines for the legs and then three little toes on the end of each one. After that, draw Hitchcock's wing with a big smile in the center of his body and a bumpy line at the end for feathers. At the tail end of Hitchcock's body, draw four or five loops. These will go out and round back in towards his little booty and those will be his tail feathers. Now on the front of Hitchcock's face, draw two pointy triangles for the two parts of his beak. If you're drawing sunglasses on Hitchcock today, don't draw eyes yet. If you're not drawing sunglasses today, you can go ahead and draw an eye like this. All you need is one circle with two little circles inside for highlights. Now later you would color that eye all the way in except for the highlights, but I'm gonna have some sunglasses on my Hitchcock. So here's how I draw sunglasses one big circle near the top of Hitchcock's head with a smaller circle inside, then a rainbow next to that, and half of a circle over here. Do you see the sunglasses? Part of them are hidden by Hitchcock's beak and head. You can draw sunglasses on Hitchcock if you want, or you can just draw some eyes, and then it's time to be the artist you get to decide what Hitchcock is wearing today in your picture. Is he wearing a little snow hat? Is he wearing a cowboy hat? Is he wearing a sweatshirt or a scarf? Is he wearing a necklace or a watch? You get to draw whatever clothes and accessories you want on your Hitchcock Raven. After you've had some creative time to draw some clothes and accessories for our cute little raven friend, it's time to take a black sharpie, a black marker, or a black crayon and trace your drawing. If you drew sunglasses on Mr. Hitchcock today, you're going to want to color all of the middle of the sunglasses with black. And then don't color the outer edge. You can pick a color for that. Other than that, trace everything around your pencil lines all over your Hitchcock drawing. Your little hats, your scarves, his body and beak, the whole thing. After your entire drawing is traced, it's time to choose the colors you want Mr. Hitchcock to be. You could color Mr. Hitchcock in with pink or blue or purple, or you could color him in black like he really is. If 
you want to color him black, like the real Hitchcock, then I suggest switching to a crayon or a colored pencil, and here's why. Hitchcock the Raven right now is all traced in black already. So if we use a marker to color him in with black, certain parts of him are going to disappear, like his wing and the sunglasses. But if you use something that looks lighter, like a crayon or a colored pencil, then you can lightly color in Mr. Hitchcock's body and all his parts will still stand out with the outline. After Hitchcock's body is all colored in with whatever color you want, it's time to color in his accessories and his rainbow tail. And for those parts, you can use whatever you want. No peekaboo spots allowed, please. And after you're all done coloring in Hitchcock, it's time to decorate the background. You guessed it, the white space all around Hitchcock needs to be decorated. You could color it all in with your favorite color, you could add a pattern, or you could add some snowflakes like me. I'm so excited to see your versions of Mr. Hitchcock today. Seriously, cannot wait.